Morning West Side, this is Miss Graves. We read pages 51 to 76 last time we read together, and maybe you didn't quite get to 76, so I'm here to tell you how it went. Um, chapter nine opens up with mom of a newborn in an alley near a dumpster. And when I say newborn baby, I mean brand newborn baby. This chapter we learned about the Storking Initiative that allows a new mom to leave a baby on a doorstep of a home legally. Um, but if they're caught, then the person leaving the baby has to keep the baby. Um, but if the person who lives at the home opens the door and only finds the baby, then legally the baby's theirs. And that is what the Storking Initiative is. In chapter 10, this is told from Rissa's point of view, um, she walks up to a, a stranger's house, calls herself Dee Dee, and says that they're collecting clothes and food for a school competition, and she's so close, she's in second place, blah, 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 blah. The woman just wants to get rid of her, and so gives her a bunch of clothing and food, and so that's how they're able to change their clothes so that the news report um, with whatever they were wearing last would be inaccurate so they could get by a little bit um, easier, plus they could eat. Um, so they go back to the woods to change their clothes and then they come back into the neighborhood and they see a girl walking by really, really quickly as if she's injured. I'm imagining her holding her stomach or something. And I think this is the girl that just left a newborn baby on the doorstep um, of a family home. Let's see, um, Connor says it's morning time and people are in a hurry and they see a newspaper and they look through the newspaper and they don't mind being in a neighborhood because people aren't really paying attention. They're going through their morning routine. Uh, they're talking and debating whether the cops will take them all alive or whether they will want them dead. Um, Lev brings up whether or not his family maybe paid the cops to kill the kidnappers. And so they've got this internal struggle with um, what will happen if they get caught. Um, Let's see, where, what else do my notes tell me? There is a cop car trolling the neighborhood and somewhere off in the distance they hear a baby crying. Rissa keeps a calm head and um, sees kids gathering in the neighborhood. It's morning time, morning routine, so people are leaving for work and kids are leaving for school. So she looks to the two guys and says, come on guys, we're gonna be late for the bus again. And she says this loud enough for the cops um, benefit so that if the cop sees them, he doesn't put their description together with those three kids. He thinks that they're just going to the bus stop. Uh, Rissa doesn't really plan on getting on the bus. Uh, the cop car comes to a stop the same time the bus comes to a stop. Uh, the crying gets even louder. And Connor looks over at this neighborhood um, home doorstep and sees uh, an infant left on the front door and he kind of freaks out a little bit because Connor knows that it's a storking happening. Um, he's had this happen to his own family home two other times and so he understands the process of storking. Um, then we get a little bit of perspective from his inner thoughts and the writer says this is not the same. So it, this is Connor thinking to himself, Connor don't freak out, this is not the same as the storking that's happened before. And later on in the day's reading, you find out what that was. But he he's emotionally struggling. He just can't leave this baby at that doorstep. He sees the door open and there's a kid on the front step, looks down, looks back into the house and says, Mom, we've been storked again. And it's that again that really gets to him. So he walks up to the door to grab the baby and the woman catches him and she's like, I know you, you've been caught, mister. So sad for your luck, this baby is now yours. Connor feels really broken up about um, taking the baby, but he takes the baby, obviously. And uh, Rissa's furious with him, can't quite figure out why he flipped out over this baby being storked. So, but at least now they can blend in a little bit better. So now the three kids and an infant they do end up getting on the school bus because it's the one way that they can get away safely because the cop car is still there and the woman on the doorstep um, is threatening to call the cop over if they don't take the baby and leave. Uh, while they're on the bus, um, 
Rissa meets a girl named Alexis and she has a baby. And so they get into a conversation. This person, Alexis, is kind of important later on in the book. Right now she doesn't seem to be. Um, Lev on the bu uh, bus makes friends with Alexis's little brother. Um, we hear from Lev's perspective in chapter 13 that he really plans to get away as soon as they're a part of civilization again. Um, and then he makes a comment that Rissa and Connor need to be protected from themselves. And so we start to see that he has some different attitudes about Rissa and Connor, but he's still interested in getting away. Chapter 14, they go hide in a girl's bathroom during school. And this is where we learn of the storking that happened that made Connor need to take that baby. And I'll try to keep it super short, but um, Connor's parents had a baby storked on their doorstep once and they already had a house full of kids. And so after they had the baby for a couple days, they, in the middle of the night, went to another neighbor's house and left the baby on the doorstep. And those people took in the baby, but there was never an announcement like, oh my gosh, we got storked. Congratulations, we have another new baby. Um, what happens was that family couldn't keep the baby and storked it to another family. And it kept happening over and over again until the baby didn't survive. And so Connor has this soft spot in his heart and he just doesn't want that to happen to another baby. And that's why he freaked out when the kid said, we've been storked again. He didn't want this baby to get lost in the system and end up dying. So that's where we left off. Pretty exciting. And I don't even wanna tell you but I want to hint that something big happens while they're hiding in the girls' restroom at this high school. Okay, so I will see you later. Enjoy the next chapters. Bye.